In this technology training quick tip, we're going to discuss how you can create a table of contents automatically using Word 2010. On your home tab, you'll notice that there's an entire area dedicated to styles. Styles in Microsoft Word are a combination of both formatting options and sometimes outlining levels. You'll notice that my cursor is flashing here in the budget report line of my Word document. And if you'll observe up in the styles area, you'll see a golden rectangle around the style called title. If I were to move my cursor here in front of expenses, you'll see that there is a heading one style for that particular line. And if I were to go here under employee salaries, I will see heading two appear. I'm going to take a moment simply to scroll through this document and you'll see that I have a couple places where I have heading two designated here under expenses. I've got office rent, office supplies, IT management, and if I were to scroll down even further here to page three, you'll see I have another heading one option. I'm going to return to the top of my Word document here and then travel to the references area on my ribbon. I'll click on this references tab and you might observe that on the left hand side of this tab there's an area called table of contents. I'm simply going to click on that table of contents button and it will give me several automatic options. Look in this example here and you'll see how it has heading 1, heading 2, heading 3. If I were to click on automatic table 2 my Word document's going to think a moment, and you'll see it automatically inserts this table of contents here above my title. Very frequently, we're going to want that table of contents on its own page, so I'm simply going to insert a page break here uh, before budget reports. I'm going to do that in my favorite method, which is to press and hold the control key down while pressing the enter key to get a nice clean page break. I will return to the beginning of the document that is now a table of contents. A few things that you should know about this table of contents is how you can update it. I'm going to um, scroll to the very end of my document now and add just a few more paragraphs of information. Let's say that this information happens to be on the new lemonade stand that we've opened up in our department. Since this is a new source of revenue, I'm going to highlight lemonade stand, return to my home tab, and establish it as a heading to style. I'm going to go back to my table of contents now, and you'll see that even though I've added a new income area, it is not showing up automatically in my table of contents. I will therefore need to travel to the update table button here at the top of my table of contents. I'll click on that and see that I get prompted for one of two options. I can either update only the page numbers or the entire table. If I had simply added new text and I knew that that had shifted around what pages these different sections were on, I could stick with this first option. But because I know that I've added an entire new section, Lemonade Stand, I'm going to choose to update the entire table. I'll click on that option and hit OK, and then you'll see that Lemonade Stand appears under my income options. Thank you for watching this technology training quick tip on creating an automatic table of contents in Microsoft Word. For more information, please visit our website.